Inside you are two whales.
All right, welcome back to Northwest Rankin Esports. Uh, I'm Coach White. I'm with Chris today, who we finally decided is going to be our team captain for Splatoon, but he's not playing today. Uh, we got six people on the team, so we're going to uh, rotate out. So, Chris, how are you today? What's going on? I'm doing pretty well. Pretty well. Um, Chris has been playing with us since day one that we had Splatoon. Um, to be honest, if I have any questions about Splatoon, Chris is the guy to go to. Okay. So Chris, uh, tell us about Splatoon and when you started playing it. Uh, I picked up Splatoon in 2015. I was like in third grade, maybe, probably fourth. And I just kind of hit it off from there. I didn't really know about the competitive scene until probably my fourth to fifth year in school or whatever and I actually got into it in my night. Uh, did you start with Splatoon 1 or Splatoon 2 or Splatoon 1? Splatoon 1. Uh, what console was that on? The Wii U. The Wii U. I never had a Wii U. Like, what was the main, I don't know anything about the Wii U, so what was the difference between the Wii U and the Wii? Because I know the Wii was awesome. And it had the little joysticks, right? So tell me about the Wii U. Like, what, what was different? Probably, you gained a controller called the Wii U Gamepad. Mm -hmm. And it got used for a lot of games as gimmicks or whatever. But a lot of people didn't know if the Wii U was its own thing or if it was just an accessory to the actual Wii. Was it like a trackpad or like a touchscreen? It was a touchscreen. Touchscreen. Okay. All right. So today we're going to be playing DeSoto Central. Now I don't know if we've played them yet or not, but I know they're in state, but we're in the central region. We've been playing a lot of people in state lately, and it makes me think like, why don't we do this uh, or have MHSAA sanction it? I think that'd be great just for the state of Mississippi, but we play people from Louisiana. I think we've played people in Chicago. Well, At least once, probably. Yeah, and I think if we did it in state, and I think this year too, we're going to be able to go really far in playoffs. And uh, I think the teams we played now went pretty far in playoffs last season, and we've done pretty well against them. Uh, who's the toughest opponent we've had this season? Um, I don't remember their name, but let's see. Let's pull up our history. Um, playing Dream Skittles today. Uh, PFT Ink Strikes. That was the Patrick F. Taylor Science and Technology Academy. That was a that was a fun one. And then the one before that was PCS Platoon. That's the one where we had the longest. Uh, was it what splat zones? Was it splat zones? A uh, splat zone system mode where you have to cover a specific zone in your own ink and hold it. That was the is, is that the second one? Rainmaker is the second one. It might have been Rainmaker. It, usually it's over pretty quickly. I, I think we went to time on that one, or it was right at time whenever we were able to pull out the win against them. Uh, but let's look at DeSoto Central and their record. Um, I was pulled up. Are you in this one? Go to teams and their history. They've played a Adiel E. Stevenson High School. I don't know where that is. And the Print Press from Houston High School. I don't think we've played either one of them. That's the thing. It's hard to keep up with who we've played when there's so many people in the central region. Um, that's why I really wish we did it in state. I think it would be uh, more intimate. I say intimate, but more like we'd get more better feel for our opponents because. Especially with our Smash team and everything else being in state, we know, hey, we're playing the team down the road. Like, we can have rivalries here. The team might be in Louisiana. We might never know where they're actually. Well, we have to Google like where some of these places are. Yeah. I think one of them had a population of the amount of people in our school. <laughs> um, but it looks like Anna's having some technical issues connecting. I don't seem to be working. Um, Hang on just a second.
All right, we're back. Uh, didn't seem that Anna's uh, switch was connecting, but it looks like it is connecting now. Um, teams are setting their nicknames. But the weapon you use, what was it called again? Uh, Trashinger. Trashinger? Stringer. Stringer, okay. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm learning as I'm watching. I'm enjoying every second of it. But some of these names really get me. No, no, uh, the names of the maps. I'm like, what did what did you say? Make make ho mark. What? <laughs> where did like where do these names come from? Like, do you know any of the lore behind it? They're different among uh, languages, but the ones for North America and English speaking regions are based off of puns, and okay. that even goes down to some of the some of the characters in the game too. All right. Um, one thing I thought was really interesting is I really wanted us to get a variety of games to play because when we started, we just had Smash. And whenever I believe you came to me about Splatoon and we realized it was a team, I was like, oh, I'm going to go look into this. I've looked up some, like, like I think my computer blocked it at the school. Like this, this we shouldn't be looking at this as well. Like what is this? And it was like game related. And I finally got into it, and it was some of the craziest stuff I'd ever seen. I loved it though. I really do. I've actually been trying to play a little bit at home, but I don't get I don't get to play a lot. Uh, you know, teacher schedule. Because I have to have an early bedtime. Unlike y'all who stay up to like two o'clock in the morning. That, you, you know I'm right. <laughs> but um, how's it feel not playing this week? I'm not disappointed about it. I mean, <laughs> I, can't, I can't really be mad. It was going to happen eventually. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think this is one of the biggest teams we have at the school. Um, with two extras after our initial four. And we actually had three, but Reese, one of our players who did our first um, stream, he had obligations with concert band and archery and just couldn't do it on Tuesdays. So. And he was he was good. What was his rank? Do you remember? He made it to S plus. X plus. S plus. S plus. And what's the highest? Is it X? Uh, it's different for Splatoon 3 because in Splatoon 2, you initially got to S+, plus and then you got to X rank. Now, if you get to S+, plus in Splatoon 3, you also get access to X rank. And okay. X rank is more of a game mode than it is an actual rank. But you can still get ranked at the end of each season. Okay. So what, do you, what is your rank? Do you want to say it out loud? Or? So, before I got reset, I was S+, plus 3. And then it reset me back to S. Uh, oh, we, we had a conversation about this. That's right. Um, how, is it harder to get back up to S plus, or 3 plus? Is it plus 3 or 3 plus? Just S plus works. S plus. Like, so is it, are you finding it difficult? It's more difficult, but it's also a little more fun because in S rank, you kind of, every, everything is a little uniform, but mm -hmm. in S regular, I guess because of that difficulty, it's a lot, a little more fun. I guess. Okay, that makes sense. Right. It looks like they're trying to join the room right now using friend codes. All right, we're gonna go to a quick commercial until the room actually starts because I know. Uh, let's see. Let me get. Okay, so they've got the password in there. We're just waiting on people to join up. And whenever it joins up, we'll come right back to y'all. Give us just a second.
All right, we are back. It looks like they're about to get started. And what what map did they choose? Uh, Inkblot Auto, Art Academy. Inkblot. Now, we're not used to playing that one starting out. Um, what, what, what's, what's the map we usually use? Uh, Brine Water. Brine Water, that's it. Um, I, hope, I really hope they do well on this one. I don't. We don't know a lot about DeSoto. I'm sure they, now. I know their bowling team is good. Their girls team just won state title uh, and beat our girls team. So I had some students on the bowling team that were kind of still still a little sore. Do what? Oh, we've got something to talk about. <laughs> but um, yeah, she was she was just a complaint. Ah, that's DeSoto Central. Like, I hope y'all beat them. I'm like, oh, well, I hope we beat them too, but not just for revenge for y'all, but. <laughs> All right, here we're waiting on, waiting on Z. And that'll be it. I'm excited. Well, here we go. We're both started. I'm so nervous. I, I'm, I said it last stream. I get so nervous for you guys while y'all play. Because I know it's got to be stressful. Like, you want to perform well. But at the same time, I want y'all to do well. Looks good on me. All right, so this is uh, Turf War. Yep. Trying to cover up as much as we can. So, on the stream today, we have Noah Hudson. I don't know if I'm supposed to say his last name. Noah, um, who is actually... Oh, it's on Play Versus, his last name. It doesn't matter. Who is actually on our um, Super Smash Brothers team as well. Uh, we also have KJ, Cooper, and Anna on the team as well. But we don't have enough capture cards to have everybody screen. But we got Noah today. So he's playing what looks like it looks like a bucket and he keeps splashing. So I guess that's good for area coverage. Um, what are your thoughts on layout right now? Uh, so far, I don't have like the full map coverage or whatever or what's going on, but from what I can tell, they can do good. They just need to strategize a little well. Yeah. My thing is, I want to be able to. Um, Spectate. Oh, it looks like we are not doing too well right now. Looks like we're getting caught right in the middle. Um, but we're not allowed to spectate. I think that would be different if we had a spectator point of view. It'd be a little bit easier. But it looks like we're having, I don't know, communication issues with the team. Um, kind of early to tell right now. I'm begging. I'm begging for one of. I'm begging for someone to go back to base because that's something we're kind of we got remembering to get base. Yeah. I mean, it's not it's not a necessity to win, but it's it's it's, it's better safe than sorry kind of deal. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it looks like they they they're coming back from being in danger. Yeah, they were. They was tough there for a second. But uh, I'm not sure what. Oh, Noah's he's getting cornered here. Oh, no. oh, one minute left. Let's look at this map. That's not looking good at all. And he just, as soon as he landed, he got splatted. So he's staying back just to cover some of his own ground. Before it gets down to running out of time, we have a minute left. No one seems to know what he's doing with Dreadringer because he's using a bunch of techniques where if you actually swing as press the button but then swing your controller a little, you can actually do a little curve shot with yeah. your shot, uh, slasher. Looks. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I don't know if it's going to be in our favor. Let's see. It's going to be close here. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. A point one percent. That. I, I'm trying to. By point one percent. That's nuts. At the tiniest feeling, you would I think, do you know that other team has got to be upset right now? But that was intense. 
but point one percent win. That's that's, a, <laughs> that's gonna light a fighter under them, but it also needs to light a fire under them because they they came really close to losing right then. Um, what are some tips that you think you can give our team to uh, strategize for this next set? Uh, next one is Rainmaker. Rainmaker. Okay. Hey Ian, hand me that clipboard, please. So, typically the way I play spot, uh, Rainmaker is someone needs... The one with something on the clipboard, Ian. Something needs, someone needs to take Rainmaker as their priority, priority. But they also need a player or two to protect them. Because it's never a smart idea to just jump into the match with the Rainmaker yeah. without any protection. In the chat says, what? I was, al I was all ready to say that was pathetic. But congrats. Hey, oh, I, thanks I, for the vote of confidence. <laughs> I, I, I know who that is. <laughs> Do I know who that is? Do you not know? I don't know who that is. Who's Spat12, 1712? That's Anna's mom. That's Anna's mom?! <laughs> Oh, Anna's mom. Okay. Thanks, Anna's mom. <laughs> All right. Just let's go back to the lobby real quick. We'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, this mode is Rainmaker. Uh, the goal of this one is to get the Rainmaker to the podium as well, not as fast as you can, but to beat the other team, but pretty much. Noah's kind of... Oh, Noah's about to flank, but there's someone behind me. That was nice. It looks like they stopped the person with the Rainmaker. They're going back in. Uh, someone popped the Rainmaker. And they've taken the lead. Sixty-three to eighty-one. They can put, pick it back up if they can take out some of the other players' teams. I mean, players. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, Paige gets, I mean, Noah gets a kill on the Hydra. Okay, it's 63 to 64. They're very close to getting it to the podium. You just have to kind of play it safe and play it in an effective manner. It's 51 to 64. They got the other team got to their podium, but it's not over yet. And he uses Utsuka, gets a kill, but gets killed himself. And then that player gets killed. Okay, they have a player advantage against them. Well, they did. They, they do again. They just have to play it safe and, and get it to the podium. Okay, they popped the Rainmaker. No goes in with Trizuka, gets a kill. Gets another kill. Takes out Pain Brush. Oh, that was so close. Alright, sorry about that. We were working on inventory, putting serial numbers on everything. Okay. How's it looking over here, Chris? Um, I'd say they have a shot. They is in our team or our, our team. Our team. It's not. It's not too late yet. They they got to the checkpoint too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this team is a little bit tougher than our home opponent. Don't you think? Yeah. All right. So this is Rainmaker. So we're trying to take control of it. And the Rainmaker itself is a weapon, correct? It is. Who's got it now? I can't. Uh, someone on the other team does, but they lost it. Oh, it's underneath them. There it is. All right, we have the Rainmaker. All right, we need a Gar Cooper here. They are they are swarming. I think as soon as we get that Rainmaker, we need to just swarm Cooper, to be honest, or whoever has it. Oh, they have ten seconds left. So then we'll go to time, I believe. They have the Rainmaker, and it'll go to overtime, right? Nope. Unless, nope. So, so what will that mean? Uh, we go to tower control, not tower control, uh, sweat zones, I think. Oh, okay, so we lost that one. Third one is splat zones. All right, splat zones. So, tell us what we did wrong here, there on um, uh, Rainmaker. Okay, so I don't have a full view of what exactly happened, uh -huh. but I can kind of infer inference some things. Uh, person with, with the Rainmaker doesn't need to go any further than their teammates do, uh -huh. because like we saw, you could get easily swarmed like that. And it's also why I recommend having at least two players to guard the Rainmaker, or, and the fourth player. They can guard the Rainmaker too, they can really just support, I guess. Yeah. They did play it smart by giving Cooper the Rainmaker because the Rainmaker weight, e each weapon has a weight, and Rainmaker doesn't edit or change the weight any more than it already does when you have it. Mm -hmm. So maybe they should have played around the play. People should have been more aggressive while around the Rainmaker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well. So we're down by one. So one one right now, going into splat zones. Um, so splat zones is you have to cover just one specific zone, correct? Yes, sir. And then go on from there. Explain it. 
So, how do you get the win? That's that's one. I guess what I'm trying to ask. So, there's two ways to win every ranked mode in a way. Mm -hmm. the, the first way is by knocking it out. The other way is by having less points than them, and this is in both rank and this is in all modes too. Mm -hmm. So. Let's say you don't get the knockout, but it's one to like ninety nine. Then yeah. you win. Okay. <laughs> Seems pretty complicated. Let's go to the lobby over here. All right, we're getting ready to <clears throat> get into splat zones. Chris is going to stay over with the team to kind of observe and help them. I hate Chris isn't playing today, but, you know, we have to have a rotation. All right, here we go. Anna was talking to the group earlier about which weapon loadout is the best. I think they have a good strategy coming into this. Early lead here, and it changes very quickly with splat zones. You can see already. With this one, you want the lowest number possible, so we gotta start making a little comeback here. Oh, I got 
Unless they have somebody that's staying up front aggressive. Where's that? Read that. Good elimination there from Noah. He's staying like control or helping to protect his base for that. One player from DeSoto is very aggressive. Doing a good job protecting the base. Still in control. Right. Taking the lead. Looks like we lost that spot, but he's about to gain control of it real quick. There we go. Close match on this one. You're about to gain control. Oh goodness. Well SD for Noah. All right, so that's a knockout against Northwest. Like DeSoto is really, really locked in, really taking care of business today. Um, man, that, there's a lot going on, a lot to break down here. Let me get Chris over here just a second.
That is it, it looks like. Let's go back to, hang on. They are the team. Lost it there right at the very end. I'm not sure what's going on with the guys today. I think they're not really, they're not locked in today. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, didn't really take this one seriously and it kind of shows. Uh, DeSoto did a great job. Really showed up, showed out. And uh, good job, DeSoto. Uh, Northwest came a little short. Looks like we're going to try and uh, play Clan Blitz still. It won't go against their record, but we still want to get that practice in there. Um, better luck next time, Northwest. Looks like we're going to need some extra practice time. Uh, good fight, Northwest. We'll get them next time. Yeah, we will. We sure most certainly will. Um, the conversations over there, it didn't seem like, like I said earlier, we weren't too focused on working as a team, communicating as a team. We were just kind of playing around. And I understand it is a game, but whenever we're in regular season, I guess it's okay to give one up. But at any time during the games, we really need to do our best. And I think it shows that we do need a lot of work, a lot of practice, and working on our communicating skills on this team. Um, Looks like the other team left the room. So what we're going to do is we're going to sign off here. Uh, Chris is over talking to his team, discussing the match. I'm Coach White. Thank you all for watching Northwest Ring and Esports. And, hey, go Cougars.